I want to show you a lifetime deal that I definitely don't want you to miss out on it if you want to keep track of your expenses and your income. Now, the beauty about this is that it uses AI to track that information when it reads the document. The beauty about this is that you don't have to input the data manually. It's going to do it via AI and it actually works with all currencies and all languages. So let me show you what I'm talking about right now. What's up, everyone? I want to show you Spark Receipt, which is on a lifetime deal right now. And the way that you can track your expenses and income, you can do this automatically or manually. Automatically means that you can set a forwarding email address to all your receipts to a specific email address that you're going to get in Spark Receipt, and it's going to do everything automatically. Or you can upload those via webhook or do it manually, or there's just several ways, even with an app. So it's a really great deal, which is super inexpensive right now for what you're going to get. And it starts off at $12 for the lifetime deal. Now, be aware that it's about to end. And I hope you watch this video before the price raises. So it's not going to stop, but the price is going to go twice of what it says right now. So it's going to go up to $24. So grab it if you plan to do so. Now, be aware that there's a 60 day money back guarantee. So in case you are not already decided, I recommend you grab it at this price and then test it out. And if you don't like it, just go ahead and refund it. Now, like I said, the price starts off at $12 and the difference is that you're going to get unlimited AI receipts, so no limits on those, but you will get limits on the users. Now, users might not be a big thing because maybe it's a one solo thing or maybe you can share your account with your spouse or something like that. So you're good to go. But if you want to have, I don't know, your children, your wife, you want to have separate accounts or you have a team where this is going to be used for a business and you want to keep track of expenses, then you might want to use plan two or all the way up to eight for more users. So the amount, the amount of co you, codes you get, you get more users, but the limits are the same and the features are the same on all plans. So if you're good with one users, 12 bucks is all you're going to pay. And if you grab this later on, it's going to be 24 bucks and it might even go higher later on because I do think it's a good deal and that's why they are raising the price. Now, how does Spark Receipt actually work? So like I said, there's several ways and my favorite way is to set a filter on your email address. So every time that you get a new receipt or something that says income or bank statement, etc., you're going to create a filter where that's going to forward to a specific email address that you have on Spark Receipt. So that's going to be found over here at receipts via email. I'm not going to show it to you because I don't want you to send me your receipts. I don't want them to be tracked automatically. OK, so that's one way. Another way would be to use integrations, which would be a webhook. So that's pretty nice because you can create a form. I don't know, on any form builder that you want that has webhook and you can start sending those if you want to do it manually. So it, let's just say that you want to keep track. You, you just buy one user and you create that form. And in that form, you can create users for them so you can keep track of them, but they can upload the receipt and information and be triggered. So it adds it right here and it keeps track of everything. So that's one way. Another way would be to just upload it manually. Now, let me show you a quick example. So this is a receipt that I've uploaded. This is an email that I forwarded. So let me show you one of these. You can have the filter to add these with tax included or tax excluded. Depending on your country, that's going to be different. So for example, Mexico, the tax is already included. So I've set that filter to work automatically in that setting. So it's going to read automatically the document name, the date. It's going to tell you what category it's in, the reference, the value, the tax amount and the type of currency. All that is going to be read automatically. You don't have to type that thing manually. OK, and if you add payment methods over here, so if you have cash, um, MasterCard, Platinum, I don't know, X Wells Fargo, Platinum, Capital One, etc then it's going to detect that in the document and it's going to add that here. Also, I haven't set that filter. If not, it would detect it if that information is in the document. OK, you can add details and document tags to find these later on. Now, you can also download these if you want to do that later on. So you can edit the file and delete it or you can download if you like. OK, and you can add more files to this. So let me give you a quick example why I'm actually on this video. So this is a Factura, that's what we call it here in Mexico. And I'm going to forward it to that email address. So let me go ahead and copy that email address. OK, so I've just forwarded that email right now. And Spark Receipt is going to do its magic. It's going to read it and it's going to analyze it via AI and it's going to add it right here. So let's give it a couple of seconds or minutes. Let's just show you some other things. You can see these by month. You can filter these out. You can view recent. You can search. 
you can create reports, you can mass upload up to 50 documents at a time. So that's really a great feature if you're just starting out with Spark Receipt and you got a lot of things that you want to add, just boom, add them inside of their PDFs, CSVs, etc. Just add them right there and it's going to do this automatically. And you got your trash bin. Let me go ahead and refresh this. Hasn't read it yet, so it's still working. You can add an expense here manually. So if I click on this, it'll I can do this manually. I can drag and drop here a file and it's going to start reading it automatically via AI and it's going to add the information here automatically without me having to do it manually. But that's the beauty about this. And you can also add income. So if you want to add your bank statements, you can do this here and do a report after that to have something really good. So February, here we go. We want to we have the document right here. Oh, that's the one I tried to add right now. So let's give it a few more seconds to add that there. Oh, actually, here it is. Here's the one we have right now. So here it is. That outcome, you can see it added automatically here the name for the document. It's an XML, what it read. And here's the PDF also. So it's actually a PDF of the whole email, including the PDF there. The date, the income subcategory. So it doesn't have a category in this case. The reference, tax calculation, value, tax amount, all that automa audit automatically. Okay, so it's pretty cool that we have all of this. Now, be aware that I've also noticed that when you upload a document two or three times, you'll get an email saying that you've uploaded that document already. It will add it, but it's letting you know a warning that you uploaded that two to three times. So you can go in here and delete it manually if that's the case. Okay. Now, one of the favorite features about this is having the integration with Webhook, if that's what you asked me. You can also add your income expenses categories, the document tags, payment methods, tax rates. So for example, different countries, different tax rates, you'll add those there. In Mexico, we have 16%. So I've added that previously. So it knows it actually reads it from the document, but it actually knows also that it's going to be 60%. And linked accounts, profile, etc. That is Spark Receipt. And there's also an application so you can take a picture of a document or receipt that you just paid and it's going to add it automatically here. So basically, if you ask me if this is worth what it says right there, even if it raises twice of what it costs right now, it's still worth it in my opinion, but it, because it's super easy to track your expenses. I've seen other expense trackers that you have to add everything manually, which is a big burden. I mean, I think it's a lot of time to actually do that manually. Most people don't want to do it. Some people hire a secretary to do this because it's just time consuming. So in this case, it's going to be really great if you could do this automatically via AI. So if you want to grab Spark Receipt, the lifetime deal that's going on, like I said, it's going to raise its price. I hope you get it before it raises. That link we provided in the description. If you buy through that link, it helps you out with a small commission to make these videos, and it's not going to cost you a single cent more than what it says already there. So it helps me out. And that's a wrap.